What's going on, everybody? This video is about something called that you may have heard of before. Um, this part this has to do partly with what some people call the uh, the law the law of <clears throat> sorry the law of attraction. But in this particular case, we're going to be talking more about something called the power of intention. When you intend for something, it can happen like to you pretty easily. But there's a caveat here. Because you can't just intend it once and just be like, oh, it's coming to me now. No, it's got to be like a, it's got to be almost like a constant intention. Um... It's got to be like a, an everyday intention thing. Like, I'm going to intend for this thing. Um, and the reason why this could be this is is because there are these unconscious intentions that your, your mind may have that you're trying to overcome. Uh, so basically what we're doing here is we're, we're saying, well, we, we intend for this thing despite all the... Uh, <clears throat> the wants and the needs of the, the mind might have. Um, you know, despite all the intentions that my, the mind might present to you. Because once you start with an intention, um, your mind might start feeding you other intentions that, that it might want you to do. So what you should do, what you do at that point is you ignore those intentions and say, no, I intend this more than these other intentions. Um, so you can transmute or, and, or you can transmute these intentions by thought. Just I transmute the intentions that this mind has into this intention. So it becomes a bigger intention. And basically, um, so... And, and basically what you can also do is you can add like sub intentions um, to complete this intention. So basically what I'm talking about here is that you you have an intention, but you have like these other in, smaller intentions that that serve your bigger intention or goal or whatever you want to call it. Um, this is how you can kind of keep your life kind of going in a certain direction. I mean, I'm not saying that you don't have intentions or wants that that, that may that may uh, be other than this other than this one intention that you have um, that you that you don't act on or whatever. But for the most part, with it, when it comes to this this one major intention. It's got to be like the main focus of your life and whatever else happens, you know, the, the other wants or, and whatever that you have, they have to basically be um, maybe maybe not necessarily just like discarded, but maybe transcended or but rarely um, if ever indulged in. Or you can use them as like a reward system. Like, well, I managed to do this part of the intention today. I guess I can do this one intention that, you, that my mind wants me to do. That way, you get you give your mind like a reward system. Um, this can kind of get you started on this whole idea of intentions. Uh, you can do this with like any like intention you have, like something that like motivates you intrinsically. Basically, what this means is that it has to be like an inner motivation, like something that motivates you on the inside like I don't know um what, whatever most motivates you like what, what do you what do you really want to do that you haven't really set your mind to because you're you're constantly like changing your mind about it and you're or maybe not, not maybe not necessarily you're changing your mind about it but your mind gives you all these other intentions and you lose focus of this one major intention uh, that one intention that you keep going back to even after days or weeks of, of forgetting that one intention and then coming back to it. That's the intention that you, uh, you, know, you, you remember and you say, this is the intention. I want to set it in my mind. Remember it every day. It's like something, like if you really want it to, to take off, what you do is you, you remember it like every minute or two, like every couple of minutes. At the very least, every like hour. 
because this firmly like sets it in, in your mind so that you you have like a clear goal and whenever some like intention or want comes up that that maybe maybe not necessarily serve this one intention what you can do is say i don't want this intention right now maybe when i'm done maybe when i uh, manage to do some hard work with this one intention i can indulge in this other intention or whatever other intention might come up afterwards and this is how you can kind of Well, basically what will end up happening is you'll be like a rocket taking off from the ground. Because um, this is what I did when I, I intended to, uh, you know, gain insight. I mean, look at how many videos I ended up making over the past, like, month or two. Some better than others and some more clearer than others. But this is what happens when intention is like an everyday thing. You're like, wow, I want to do this thing. I mean, and the thing was, is it wasn't even an everyday thing for me. Sometimes I forgot for a couple of days or I slacked off for like a week. I mean, that didn't happen very often, but it did happen sometimes. So if you, if you keep it in mind, if you put it in like a reminder or something or a journal, do this one thing, do this thing. But like I said, it has to be like an overarching intention with like sub intentions on it. Like do spiritual practices today or, um, you know, intend to be uh, loving and understanding with other, other people and forgiving whatever it may be. Like the video I made last night, intend to be you know, like, like Christ, you know, intend to be um, like a master or a saint. Um, you know, and you can look into your inner wisdom and guidance to help you with this because, you know, there's always um, the guides and wisdom that, that, that is inside of you, that, that we all are. We're, we're all part of Source. And Source has all the wisdom and guidance and knowledge that you might need for this particular goal or whatever other goal you have. You know, you can just look inside for this inner wisdom. <clears throat> And a way to do that, you know, I've talked about this before. You can watch my video, 15 ways of how to access the soul or whatever it was. Um, that's one definite way. Uh, that's, that's one way to help yourself. There's a many other ways to do it. Sorry. I'm yawning like crazy right now. Um... um so yeah i'm just why i'm really tired i guess i don't know oops that's funny i did not mean to do that anyways <laughs> oh that's funny anyways uh this is the wisdom matrix um If you if you like this video, um, you know like it. Subscribe if you want to see more videos from me in the future. And if you if you did get some kind of benefit from this, um, you know share it with other people so they can get the same kind of benefits as you did. And I and I I do uh, dare you to try this at least for like a couple days, like one or two days, um, and watch how your your whole life changes. It takes off from from this one intention, whatever it might be. And you may not even know how to uh, do this intention that you that you set in mind but but what's ha going to happen might as well keep going I guess is, is that basically you're going to vibrate at this certain frequency I suppose you could call it um, and so this intention is you're basically like becoming this intention you're be becoming the thing that you're intending by just feeling it in your heart like this intention um uh, if you do this for like like i said like every minute every other minute or whatever just, um just keep this intention in mind and in your heart because that's where the um the magic really happens is in your heart with your like emotions and, and stuff like that so intend for it with your emotions if you can um you know, it doesn't have to be a specific emotion. Like, whatever instinctual emotion comes up when it's intention is fine. 
that's really the, the starting gate, actually. That's the way that this whole thing gets started. Um, and you can call this the, the law of attraction or whatever you want to call it. Um, it doesn't really matter. I just call it the power of intention because that's what it, what it is, really. And anyway, so anyways, like I said, if you like this video, please just like it, uh, share it, and subscribe. If you want to see more videos from me in the future, um, this is the Wisdom Matrix, and I'll see you in the next video.